to the shoe and Hey, my name is Becky and we're the sorry girls and today we're gonna try and DIY some stuff from this trend that's been going around and I don't even know what the name for it is because there's like a million different things that fall into this category we've been calling it straw but that's like not really right it's like straw it's hemp natural it's jute it's rattan it's cute that's what it is I could go on <laughs> but it, yes it's cute so we're gonna DIY Why people gotta be getting injured? <laughs> so today we're gonna DIY three things that fall into this vibe, theme, the vibe. trend, the vibe. Are you guys subscribed? And have you clicked that bell? Because there is a difference. So if you're subscribed, we totally appreciate you. And if you could ring that bell if you haven't already, we love you even more. <laughs> All right, so first up, we're gonna make these espadrille, espadrille, espadrille. That's another one. Oh my God, there's so many words for yeah. this thing. All right, so first up, we're gonna show you how to make this espadrille-esque platform shoe, super easy to do. So first up, pick up a pair of platform shoes. These can be sneakers or flats or mm -hmm. whatever, as long as it has a platform that we can work with, or you can upcycle a pair of shoes that you already have. So to make the espadrille vibe, we're using sisal twine, but you can use jute or hemp or anything that falls in that vibe. Section out three long strings of twine and braid it into a simple braid. super gluing the beginning of the braid, but skip the knot to the shoe and then cut off the knot. Continue with the super glue, attaching the braid all the way around the platform, starting from the top and then wrapping all the way down to the bottom. If you run out of rope, braid another piece and glue it right up against where the last braid ended, and of course cut off the knot. And once you get to the end, it's basically that simple. This looked so good, like so legit, right? Yeah, I dibs. Also, they're my size, so double dibs. Someone <laughs> had to go buy the shoes and dibs for herself. Dude, they, they didn't have your size. <laughs> they didn't have your size. Okay, okay. <laughs> so on a recent trip to the thrift store, uh, you guys might have seen in the Urban Outfitters challenge video, I actually found this hat as soon as we walked in and I bought that hat. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna upcycle this for myself. But then we realized that we could incorporate it into this video because you might walk past a hat like that and be like, oh girl, you're not cute. I'm not taking you home with me, but you can take her home. <laughs> Buy her a nice dinner first though, at least. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> So to upcycle a thrifted hat, or I guess just any hat, you can cut off, or in our case, just pull off the fabric bow. For the new ribbon, we're using a thick black ribbon from the craft store. Cut it into a long enough piece to wrap around your hat, and then use a lighter to carefully burn the ends to stop them from fraying. Use hot glue to glue the new ribbon into place. And that's it. So easy. It's so easy, but I mean, it gave the hat new life. And oh, now yeah. I can wear it like all summer long. And it brought it like up like 10 years, 20 years. Like if you showed me and that original hat, I'd be like, oh, my mom would have worn that hat. But now I'm like, I would wear that hat. She probably did wear that hat. It was probably from like the 80s or 90s. Probably. Okay, and last up, we're gonna show you how to make this gorgeous jute, I think is what they're usually made of, circle rug. Now you can get as detailed with this or as not. I've seen ones with like wavy bits on the inside and yeah. like almost like mandala-esque designs. Go crazy, but we're gonna do a simplified version of that today. So to make the rug, we're using a couple of spools of three quarter inch twisted sisal and hot glue. Start by wrapping the cord in a spiral and hot gluing the sides of the rope together. 
Repeat this until you have a middle circle that's about half the size you want your rug to be. Use an X-Acto knife to cut the rope. If you do this on an angle, it will blend into the side of the circle nicely. Next, we repeated this process, but stopped when our circles were about five inch in diameter. We created 13 of these smaller circles, but the size and number will vary depending on how big your rug is going to be. Just keep measuring and you can make your last circle a little smaller in order to have all the pieces touching. Next, glue the edges of the smaller circles to the larger circle and to each other. Lastly, we're gonna take our rope again and wrap it around the outside, gluing the edges to all of the smaller circles as we go. You can wrap this as many times as you'd like, but we did it about three times. And that's how it's done. It's so simple. You basically just coil the rope and you can do it in different patterns if you want, different designs, but basically go with circles and you'll be great. I was surprised at how easy this was mm -hmm. and it looks really expensive. Like these rugs are gonna cost like a hundred bucks. Yeah, it looks really, really and it's good. it's so chic and like anthro, like urban, cool vibes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. worldly, you so traveled. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Those DIYs were so easy. They look so chic. Mm -hmm. If you end up making one of them, please tag us on Instagram using the hashtag Sorry Girl Squad. Sorry Girl Squad. Sorry Girl Squad. At the Sorry Girls. If you want to tag us, we'll check it out. We'll like your photo. We might even repost it if we're feeling fancy. We do that too. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you like it, make sure you give it a like. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Wow, that was nice.